My name is Jeff Bacalar. I'm joining you from the great state of New Jersey. So, you know, gaming doesn't always have the biggest footprint here at CES, but we do have some of the industry's top names always bringing along something very special to show off. This year is no different. Our friends at Origin PC are here joining us and to talk about the new high-performance laptops coming right off the heels of that NVIDIA press conference. I'm joined today by my good friend, Kevin Wazalewski, the CEO of Origin PC. Kevin, it's good to see you, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Jeff, it's great to see you. Great to be on the stream. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's not our usual you know, CNET live stage at CES, but I'm digging this. I really, really like this virtual thing, and we can connect with each other and get up close and personal. And yeah, would you like me to go right into these laptops? Yeah, I feel like the timing of this could not be any better. NVIDIA just wrapped up their press conference, which perfectly parlays into the, the, the new laptop announcements you guys have for us today. Take it away. Tell us about it. Yeah, man, I'm so excited. The timing could not be better. We literally just launched these laptops on our website. So we have two brand new laptops minutes ago just launched. NVIDIA minutes ago just announced these products to the world. And here it is. This is our Evo 15S. This is our new super thin and light uh, updated version of our 15-inch laptop. And this is our 17-inch Evo 17S. So this is a super thin and light 17-inch laptop. And that's just a quick view of them. But now we're going to go into the nitty-gritty and the details. And the highlight of all of this, of these new laptop launches, is that we now have NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series in these thin and light laptops. So we have up to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 with uh, 16 gigabytes, an insane 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM. So we have the 3080 version and also a 3070 version. So before we go into all the other great things about these laptops, I mean, I think we want to pause there. I mean, this, uh, as, you know, as you all know, RTX 30 series is second gen ray tracing cores, third gen tensor cores, uh, it's just the most amazing GPU technology that's out there today, and it's now available on laptops. Yeah, I mean, I got to ask you, Kevin, I know you're not the one, you know, building and putting these things together, but like, dude, I feel like we need to take a second and appreciate how insane it is just from a just from a, a, a practicality point of view of how much real estate you're only afforded inside of a laptop and cramming in an RTX 3080 with the 16 gigs are, I mean, it it kind of doesn't make any sense. Can you can you speak a little bit to the sort of, you know, engineering marvel that getting laptops as thin as the ones you just showed off contain that much horsepower? Yeah, I mean, one of the words that comes to mind is just magic. It's literally magic how you're getting this level of performance in a thin and light notebook. We're talking about, you know, less than four and a half pounds in weight and less than an inch thick. And it has the graphics power to drive the latest games with ray tracing ultra. We have option uh, optional 4K OLED screen. So you can run this in 4K with a beautiful stunning screen. Or we also have 1080p screen up 300 Hertz. So if you're a super competitive gamer, you can really push the limits and go for high frame rates. And then if you're a gamer like me that plays a lot of single player games and wants things as beautiful as possible, you could crank it up to 4K and you know, I often tell people that our laptops are more powerful than most people's desktops. And people think that, okay, you know, you work there, you're just giving me the marketing hype. But I mean, I will challenge a lot of people out there and say this laptop is more powerful than most people's desktops right now on their desk. Yeah, I mean, you know, for me, I just think back even a couple of years to when, you know, if you wanted those high end graphics cards in a laptop, you were basically making you know, the sacrifice of having this, you know, four inch thick laptop with a, with, you know, this sort of huge uh, footprint that was heavy. And, you know, it was basically a portable desktop is how I, I, I would describe a lot of that stuff. But the fact that now we're, we're talking so thin, and even like you said, four pounds so light, I mean, you know, what does this do, do you think, to sort of change the direction of of sort of PC gaming, because like I said, especially as it you know relates to laptops, this is not a thing where you're sort of anchored down by a big honking you know, laptop. How does that sort of change the game? Well, one of the biggest things I think it changes is that you, gamers used to have to choose between, I want to go desktop 
and have the best overall performance, the best looking, the best frames per second, 4K, et cetera, or I want to go laptop and kind of sacrifice one of those things. That, that used to be the scenario. The scenario today is that you can actually choose either one and you're not sacrificing anything. So as we mentioned, these are just as powerful as a desktop. So when people ask me, what should I buy a desktop or a laptop? It's actually hard for me to answer that question because I used to say, well, if you want the best, best power, go with a desktop. If you want some portability, go with a laptop and you're gonna sacrifice something. But now I kind of say, well, I don't know, either one. You're perfectly, you literally cannot lose. You're perfectly fine with either one, especially with the Thunderbolt 3 port on this laptops and uh, you know, display port out and things like that. Uh, a lot of people use these laptops and they'll hook them up to a, a Thunderbolt dock and be docked at home and get a full, full um, power right there. Or what I've seen people do is they'll hook it up to their living room TV. So you can have a, a large screen TV hooked up to this laptop running a game with a controller and you know you would have no idea that it's a laptop powering it when you when you're actually playing the game yeah i've actually had a, a lot of conversations about that especially last year with you know everyone being home so much um you know for people who wanted that solution of bringing their you know gaming lap their gaming experience from room to room from tv to tv uh, you know, there obviously are solutions in place where you can stream stuff from one room to the other. But when you introduce that portability, uh, bringing that around with you uh, within your home and not having to stream something over the network, it just makes that much more sense. So just a really kind of impressive uh, option for people to, to you know, seek out and, and take advantage of with, uh, with you know, the, the, the prevalence of these kinds of, kinds of machines, you know, taking place. Yeah. So a little bit more on the specs, uh, you know, that's under the hood that a lot of people are going to ask about. So it has an Intel Core i7 processor, eight core processor, up to 32 gigs of RAM, um, up to four terabytes of hard drive space. Uh, of course, it has the latest Wi-Fi. Um, and, you know, part of the, I'm gonna, we're going to keep going back to the NVIDIA RTX 30 series because that is the, the highlight and the most amazing part of it. Um, but one of the most amazing parts of NVIDIA's new uh, 30 series is also N20 series is DLSS. So NVIDIA DLSS is an amazing AI technology that gets better over time. So this improves your performance in your games and your frames per second. Uh, over time, it gets even better and better as the AI learns. And you know, I can't say enough about DLSS. This is, to me, one of the, the main highlights. And it's a must have when I play any game now that offers DLSS, it's on. It's automatically on. I'm getting more performance, more frames per second. And it's kind of, you know, a lot of people have called this also magic. You know, some press outlets are called it magic. PC Gamer is quoted in saying that you can get 85% higher frames per second just by turning the LSS on. So I don't know if you've worked with the LSS, but I just want to say we have to highlight that because these laptops offer the LSS from NVIDIA and the performance is just mind boggling. Yeah, I feel like DLSS has has been such a game changer for you know, accessibility and and really for a lot of people to, you know, get a taste of that super high end fidelity when maybe, you know, they're not, um, you know, when they're not able to, to buy the latest and greatest graphics card that just comes out, you know, that sort of technology has been able to like leapfrog people, maybe a generation or two with, uh, with some really impressive AI and, and, and sort of architecture. What Besides, you know, all that stuff, are you able to to kind of, you know, squeeze out of what you're getting with now that there's, you know, 30 series cards in laptops? You know, what what are the other sort of added benefits to, to having that under the hood? Well, I mean, I have to go, you know, I don't want to go too much into performance and speeds and feeds and, and all that stuff. And that's all that information sure. is going to be out there soon. You can check that out. Um, but I can give you some hands-on experience. So I've had some hands-on with these laptops. And of course, I had to fire up Cyberpunk. That's the game I'm playing right now. And I fired it up on our 1080p panel um, with uh, ray tracing on Ultra, DLSS on, and it was just stunning. It looks amazing. It plays super smooth. And still, I, it's hard for me to, to wrap my head around it. I'm, I live and breathe this industry for 20 years. Uh, I'm around it all the time. And I, I'm still kind of totally amazed that I'm playing the latest game with all the bells and whistles turned on. It looks beautiful on a 15 inch light laptop. It's just, you know, I can't say enough about it. I feel like I'm, you know, promoting it a little too much, but really it's gonna blow your mind when you see this thing in person. Well, you know, look, I think that's fair because I think a lot of people didn't really understand just how uh, impressive this 
uh, architecture, this generational leap netted performance, right? Like, I think that is a topic that's still sort of under discussed, um, maybe on a surface level. I think when you get into the nitty gritty and you talk to, you know, um, the benchmarkers and people who really put these products, you know, through the ringer, that generational jump is so mind blowing. And NVIDIA obviously very quick to say and highlight the fact that this is the largest generational leap they've really ever done. Um, you know, I think there it, it makes sense to kind of be blown away and look like, you know, you said you've been doing this for a while. I've been covering games for well over a decade. The kind of performance that we are getting, and again, from the laptop versions, from, you know, now the laptop versions, from what we're seeing out of the, the GPUs and desktops, it truly is mind-blowing, just the jumps in the short amount of time that we're experiencing. Kev, I want to I pivot real quick and talk a little bit about, you know, kind of 2020 and what kind of year that was for Origin PC and what, you know, you know what you sort of saw firsthand as something that, you know, impacted your business, what, you know, what did you see from what 2020 really meant to, to people who play video games? I mean, just like everyone else out there, we had to make changes. We had to pivot quickly. Um, you know, first and foremost, uh, mind was safety and the health of everyone, you know, family, coworkers, et cetera. So obviously we have people working from home. So we had to quickly switch to uh, different tools to work from home. Luckily we're a technology company, so we're able to do that quite well. Um, and, you know, I found the team to be super efficient. We haven't really missed a beat. We've been able to launch new products, uh, keep our service levels high. Uh, we offer 24-7 lifetime support. So we actually have in-house, you know, techs that work out of Miami, uh, mostly out of Miami and all throughout the U.S. And, you know, luckily from us, this was already happening. We had a lot of our techs working from home. So we were actually, you know, at one point bringing, looking to bring more people into the office, and then COVID happened. And we said, you know what, we're just going to keep hiring people and have them work from home. And it's worked out really well. We're still offering that 24-7 support. Um, obviously, manufacturing does come into the office, so we've taken great lengths to make sure that everything here is, you know, clean, six feet apart, everyone wearing masks, super safe. Uh, some of the business, of course, was impacted in a negative way, and some things did slow down. Uh, but overall, the demand is super high. A lot more people are staying home. They're not taking vacations they're upgrading things around their house. They're getting additional gaming PCs. I myself, I'm in that boat. <laughs> I'm in the business, but I'm also, you know, a consumer and a gamer. So, uh, you know, I use the opportunity to say, you know what, I'm take, we're taking a lot less family vacations this year, and we're going to upgrade things around the house. So we upgraded our game room and uh, added some additional PCs, and we're doing some, you know, some gaming with the family and actually play Animal Crossing with my mom. So, you know, it's been this really, really weird year of, a lot of negativity, a lot of things, you know, you know, my heart goes out to all people affected. Uh, but at the same time, all these new different opportunities where we're connecting in different virtual ways, just like this live stream right here, it's totally virtual and it works. You know, we're still able to keep things going. Yeah. I mean, for me, that's been kind of the most surprising thing. I mean, is there one thing as it relates to, to PC gaming in your specific field that you've that you've been the most sort of surprised by is there is there something that you can kind of put your finger on and and that's maybe giving you a little bit of hope um well i uh, just the the gaming community coming together and still connecting and you never know what game is going to take off and what technology right. is going to take off like among us is a perfect example who would have thought that among us would have been the number one game or one of the number one games of the year and how much of that is tied to covid we don't know uh, but obviously a lot of people are at, at home playing games and they want that social interaction. And that's a perfect game where it's not your typical shooter. It's a different type of game where you're having, you know, a lot of uh, back and forth and kind of figuring out who's the good guy, who's the bad guy. So those type of games uh, have really taken off. And I think there's going to be more games in that realm. Um, obviously, Discord, you know, record numbers, YouTube record numbers, Twitch record numbers. So yep. it's just amazing to see how things pivoted and how gamers are still wanting to uh, play games together and still socially interact with each other. Definitely. Uh, Kevin, appreciate you coming in. Can you just let us know real quick, are these laptops that you guys are debuting today, they're available for order right now, right? Yeah. Pretty much ready to go. Absolutely. So originpc.com, these laptops are available now. Um, there is a lead time because we're going to custom build it to order. Uh, all of our laptops, desktops come with uh, HD UV printing, so you can actually print anything you want on the A panel of the laptop, or we can laser etch it, or we can paint it. 
Um, so yeah, you can go to our website now, customize your product to your heart's content, uh, and then we'll deliver it in you know, two or three weeks. Excellent. Kevin, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Guys, don't forget to interact with us on our social channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. That always goes a long way. And of course, you can reach out to me personally on Twitter. I'm at Jeff Bacala.